Okay, so moving on a little bit. Um, you need to think about some of these websites and applications you use because they have features sometimes built into them to make them addictive. Our brains are wired to build habits. We have habits for our daily routines, like the way we brush our teeth or the things we get ready for school. Um, tech designers understand the power of habits. Their job is to get you to use their devices and tools as a habit without even thinking about it. This makes them successful and makes them more money. This is called addictive design, which um, has features or aspects of the device or app that are intended to hook the user in frequent use. And if you see that, here is the definition for addictive design here. Now, um, addictive design works because it uses a feedback loop or a response to something you do or post online that causes your brain to experience a temporary moment of pleasure. And then you want to do it again to get that moment of pleasure again. And the more you do it, the more it becomes a habit. Um, so how does social media use addictive design like feedback loops to get and keep your attention? I want you to think about that for a moment. Did you think about features like likes, dislikes, or other ratings? Did you think about how they ask for comments? The ability to share pictures and see other people's pictures? Um, streaks like they have on Snapchat? Videos with autoplay features? Live streaming? Um, a lot of these live streaming things put up whole seasons or whole um series of different shows so you can binge watch. So these are things that they do to make it addictive. Okay, so you will be receiving um, or you will be able to access a worksheet on Canvas. And in this worksheet, you're going to look at different apps that are described. You um, are going to underline or highlight examples of features that use humane design. Then you're going to answer the questions. Now, in order to do this, you're going to have to make a copy of that. It will be a Google Doc, and all you have to do is make a copy, and then you will be able to fill it out on your own. Um, humane Design encourages tech designers to de design tools that really add value to our lives, not just get us the app. So keep that in mind. If you need help while you're working on the worksheet, let me know and I will help you. So let's get started. Make sure you find the worksheet on Canvas and um, make a copy of it.